This is going to be a quick demonstration on how to set up multiple maps within your layout. Um, this is a little bit different from ArcMap Desktop in that these used to be called data frames and your first one was called layers. Um, now they're called maps. So um, here I don't have any data in here, but we can see the continental U.S. If I want to add a new map, let's say I want this to be a locator map or an inset map, or I might want to show data from 1950 in one map and then show data from you know 2018 in another map. Um, I can do that. You can do that. Um, you can rename these to keep track of them, but they're independent and you can only see one at a time. So if I go back to map two, this is our map about Iowa, and if we go back to this one, we're zoomed out to the whole Earth. So they're independent, and I can rename these by uh, left-clicking, and then I can toggle over to map two. Okay. So I've got two different maps, and if I want to create a layout, you insert a new layout. Here's where you pick if you want your paper to be oriented, portrait or landscape. And it just adds it as a whole third thing up here. So this is the old layout view in ArcGIS or ArcMap. And we can insert our two different map frames by inserting map frames. This is the space for our two different maps. So if I want these to be side by side, I can choose my globe map and pull from the extent that it's drawing. This is going to be a terrible layout. Okay, and then I can insert another map frame, but this time pull from my Iowa skill, scale and draw a spot for that one. And so now I have two completely independent data frames uh, within my layout. And let's see, what else do I want to say about that? In order to kind of rescale these independently, you have to right click and activate. And now I can use my zoom key and activate within this one. And then I back out of this to lock that scale in. It hasn't changed this one at all. Again, I can do that here, right click, activate, and then I can change the scale um, independent on this one. And then back out. Um, another thing, just while I've got your attention, get rid of these um, dynamic images by going to the insert menu, dynamic text, and the service layer credits, service layer credits, and then click off the map, or you can place them down here, but I would of course recommend making them very small, gray, and diminutive, um, but if you're going to use a base map for my courses, it's fine with me if you replace and have data credits and just give Esri the credit for the base maps. Um, but this is the full and correct uh, citation for the base maps. Um, but again, small, gray, diminutive. Any questions, let me know. Thanks.